It's a funny story because uh, it started from my childhood. When I was uh, little, my father worked in uh, Lisbon and the World Expo uh, took place there. It was the first time actually I visited such a place and I fell in love with the idea of uh, World Expo where all the countries unite for uh, six months to brag about their something that they're uh, good at. And uh, since then, I was waiting for a moment to do something special uh, for World Expo. Um, and then when it turned out that there will be this World Expo in, Ex uh, in Osaka, um, it was the best chance for us because it united everything that uh, we love. We could say something about the country we're living on, uh, in uh, about Luxembourg. We could uh, do it in Japan, which we love and which is um, one of our major markets for us. And as well, we can um, do something with technology showing actually that Luxembourg is not only about wine and banks, but also about technology. Uh, well, initial goals were to um, actually to show that the technology that we have uh, can be used for um, different ways, uh, combining different uh, types of uh, scanning that we have, which is actually unique because uh, you can use the drone together with the Leo handheld scanner, together with Array, and get the full picture of, of the object from small to uh, big. First of all, um, the, uh, we didn't come right away with um, uh, the list of the project. We had a lot in, in our mind, and then there was brainstorm uh, together with the uh, client, Luxembourg uh, government. When they chose the object, there was not that much time left. And um, speaking, for example, of the uh, Grand Duke Palace, it's, it's a huge building and it requires special permissions to, to fly over with a drone and so on. So first they offered us to scan a um, model of the, the palace made out of sugar that is uh, kept in the uh, palace for the last hundred and something years. So it's a literally made out of sugar a model of the uh, Grand Duke Palace with the little horse in front and everything. And uh, our team has done the scan, but they, they realized that actually it's sugar and doesn't look realistic. So we had to redo all the project from the beginning uh, and uh, to do the actual scan of the, uh, of the whole building. Well, the, the results are, uh, from my point of view, are fantastic uh, because the model that we got, uh, you can look at it all around, you can look at it in any uh, size and dimension because the quality of the uh, model is, is so good that you can put it on a great screen. Uh, although in Osaka, it's uh, the project is that you go with your phone and you look on the screen on your phone, but still the, the models can be used afterwards to show the heritage of Luxembourg in, in a bigger size uh, in, in any environment. Well, we were honored to take part in a uh, trade mission of Luxembourgian business uh, in Osaka, so we could see with our own eyes how uh, other people from Luxembourg would, would react on the uh, project that we did. And we're very proud of uh, the result because, uh, first of all, it's uh, something for, uh, for us to be proud of, uh, the, the heritage and a lot of heritage actually that uh, we have here in our country. Um, and as well, it's a good, it was a good idea from the scenario point of view to have this QR codes placed in the zone of uh, the queuing. Because in Expo, if you haven't ever been there, there's a lot of queues there. And people are just standing and waiting when they uh, get in. So the only pavilion in the whole uh, World Expo where you can uh, entertain yourself is Luxembourgian. So it, I think it was a very, very good idea from that point of view and from technical point of view, it's also a good combination of um, our scanners, of all range of scanners, but together as well with the VR technology, which is uh, getting a lot into um, now any kind of env environment, if we're talking about entertainment or education, and it's, it's all about VR and AR technology. So this, uh, I hope it did show that we have this kind of technology in, in Luxembourg and we're proud to represent the country. It's something fantastic when, when it comes from just one idea that I had from 
from the very beginning that uh, was new and then seeing people scanning the codes and um, seeing the heritage, it's, it's a precious moment for me. I hope they would leave with the uh, understanding that Luxembourg has a great um, national heritage, uh, that they have a history, uh, that we have uh, beautiful monuments and it's a country that worth visiting and worth being interested in.